YouTube, my dearest friends, welcome back to another slimy vlog, yeah. So I've started going to the comic shop every Sunday, uh, just to hang out, be with my bros. If it's a Sunday where I, like, have to work a bunch or, uh, need to catch up on homework, I obviously won't go. But any Sunday that I just have free is spent at the comic shop. Because, uh, downtown parking is free that day. But something happened at the comic shop. Something crazy. And I want to tell you guys about it. But first, we have to go back to a week beforehand to put it in a little context. So, <laughs> the, the comic shop was letting me use their internet. Uh, because... We were doing some gaming. I'm a personal friend of the owners. Uh, and I needed to connect my Switch so that we could uh, use it. And also Pokemon Go, because we were doing using all those games, can connect Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go. So, uh, he gives me the password, and I was like, dude, this is such an easy password to guess. I'm not going to tell you guys what it was. I'm not even going to give you a description of it, because it would be easy to find out. But... Uh, I was like, this is not a secure password. You have to change it. And he was like, no, it's fine. Uh, even if customers like figure it out, I don't really mind them using the Wi-Fi, whatever, blah, 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 uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A week goes by. And there are a bunch of people there after hours, you know, he lets lots of the regular gamers stay after hours uh, because they're going to... You know those Magic Gathering players are going to keep buying packs the whole time they're playing. So, you know, if they're going to keep buying packs, might as well let them stay after hours, you know? And um, one of the Magic the Gathering players um, is, or was, homeless. Uh, a homeless man. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, lots of the other Magic players from what I understand, would give him cards they didn't need so that he could just come in out of the cold or out of the heat, play with them for a bit, and, you know, just, um, just be with people, socialize, get out of the weather. Uh, and it's nice that they would include him, and it's very nice of the owner to let this uh, happen as well. I've seen him give homeless people food and uh, let them sit inside. He's, he's a very generous man. So he takes a break from Magic and comes sits across from me, because I'm sitting by myself at this point. I was playing games with the owner, but he had to go do a little bit of work, you know. I mean, it's, it's Sunday, and it's after hours, but he still had to go take care of something, you know. When you own a small business, it, it never ends, trust me. Uh, so I'm sitting there alone by the power outlet. He comes sit next to me, because he needs to charge his phone. He just has this little, like, prepaid... Um, phone that and he doesn't have any uh, he doesn't have a data plan or anything obviously so um connects himself to the wi-fi of course it was easy enough with the super insecure password they had so <laughs> he uh he pulls up a little vid doesn't realize his phone is on full volume so right off the bat i just hear Porno, dude! He's watching the Pornog! He's watching the Pornography! And I ain't got no problem with the Pornog, right? I ain't got no problem with the Pornog. But you're in public. You're sitting right across from another human being. And he, he tried to play it off, right? He was like, what? Oh, like acting like it was a pop-up or something. But he didn't turn it off. He just turned it down, and maybe other people in the store couldn't hear it. But guess who still could? The guy sitting right across from him. So I, I shoot a little message to the owner, you know, on my mobile device of sorts. And I'm like, hey, this dude sitting across from me is watching the pornography, hashtag hardcore, hashtag anal, hashtag double dipping. And... He didn't have his phone on him. <laughs> I guess he, like, left his phone somewhere else, like, in another part of the 
back room or something. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he didn't get the message. And as the night went on, I kind of just let it go. I was like, whatever, kind of forgot about it, got to playing my game. I just turned the volume up on my game a little and forgot about it. So then the owner finishes up what he's doing, comes to sit, play the game with me. And then the idiot does it again. The idiot does it again. Ne next thing you know, this is, this, is, this is what you hear. This is what you hear right here. Oh, daddy. Oh, give me your beaded dick. And of course, of course the owner was like, hey, you can't watch that in here. You cannot do that. And you know what the guy's excuse was? Oh, it's okay. I'm just downloading it for later so I can jerk it on the public street. What? Of course that's not the point, right? It's a business IP. You don't want that stuff on your business IP. Obviously, right? Also, there are... There are other customers in the store, me sitting across from you, the owner sitting across the table from you, an entire table of Magic the Gathering players adjacent to us, and you're watching some chicken gaped out with a wine bottle or some shit. I don't know what he's watching, but it's something weird. So he gets kicked out. Uh, he gets banned from the store. And that's kind of sad. Because, once again, homeless, but at the same time, you, you gotta understand the rules. You got, you had to have known that was bad. You knew it was bad because you turned the volume down and acted like you didn't know how it happened. And downloading it for later, fun little pro tip for you guys, you really don't have to have the porn video open and be watching it while it's downloading. So that makes me feel like he wasn't really downloading it for later. You know? I, I feel like he was he was taking his time with it. He was enjoying it. He was enjoying the moment for sure. And another thing that made it even worse was he was facing, like he's, his back was facing the like front store window, right? So anyone who walked by on the sidewalk could have seen him doing that. Luckily, it was like at midnight, after midnight. So, um, yeah, he lets us stay late. So, uh, it wasn't like, probably seen by anybody. But, uh, damn, does it make a good story. <laughs> it's insane. Normally, I'd pimp out uh, small businesses like that full of nerd stuff, but I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to be a total dick today. I'm already making fun of a homeless guy. I don't need to get myself in any more trouble. Also, is it just me, or have I made some, like, really weird content on this channel lately? Like, really weird. So that's it for today's vlog, you guys. This story was not exaggerated. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. The, the password part was important because the homeless guy guessed the password and the owner was like, Oh man, I gotta change the password. I need, I need to make a secure password. And I was like, Oh really? If only someone had told you that a week ago. Oh wait, someone did. So now he has like a really secure password. It's crazy. It's, it's one of those like weird number letter symbol combos that you would never guess. That's like impossible to guess. Yeah, so... Like, it's almost like a default password that comes on the Wi-Fi. Like, that's how crazy it is. But, um, thank you for subscribing. Once again, not an exaggerated story on YouTube these days. I feel like I have to say that. You know, I ain't no Tana Montague or anything. Uh, but, uh, because someone told me I should make the title, Homeless Man Jerks Off in Front of Me. Yeah. Which is, um... Which wouldn't have been true, because he didn't jerk off in front of me. I didn't, I didn't want you guys to expect a story about a homeless man beating his smegma-covered meat in my face and then not get it, you know? But if you want to listen to some dinosaur erotica, I'm going to post some dinosaur erotica reading videos soon.
<laughs> if you're into that weird stuff. But yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Support us on Patreon so we can bring you more dank Gucci content. Yeah. Guy who doesn't smoke or wear designer clothes wants to bring you that dank Gucci content. So, uh, next time... I actually had another vlog planned, but I don't remember what I was going to make it about. We will have new Ask G&Gs coming soon. I have enough questions for the next episode. I just haven't gotten around to making a lot of Godzilla and Gaigan content recently because I've been working on other content. I'm really going hard on action figure and graphic novel reviews on my Godzilla and Gaigan channel, and I'm doing lots of, like, kind of more vlog-like content on this channel. I'm really focusing on this channel now. This channel's been ignored for too long, and it's kind of just been a dumping ground for haul videos and stuff, and Ask g and and I want to make some more original, broader content for this channel. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Rate, comment, subscribe, Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I can't shamelessly promote enough, people. Hit that like button. I'll beg you for likes. That's another YouTube trend. Begging for likes. Let's do it. Let's beg for the likes. I'll get like two. I always, I don't, whatever. I don't do it for the likes. I do this because I, I enjoy it. That's it. Thank you all. Can't say it enough. Well, dab on out of here.